Now this is going to be a quick video. I'm going to go over some observations on some problems that I've had at the range over the years with different types of ammunition. Now currently when you go to the range you're going there with basically homogenous ammo. All of it is probably from the same manufacturer the exact same style or exact same model of ammunition for that particular round from that manufacturer. Now when you're in a resistance situation it may not be that same way. You could end up you're out in the middle of the field and you're getting ammunition off of a or out of a cache that's in the ground and that cache was filled with whatever you could get for ammo so you could have M193 ball rounds on stripper clips and then inside that same cache you could have 223 Remington And then you have to fill your magazines with that. Or maybe you're getting just a can of ammunition where it was all dumped in there. So that can could be straight 223 or straight 556. Now, here's the issue that I've had. When I've gone to the range and I've had just straight ammunition that has the rounded type tip on it like this 223 round, the first few rounds I have problems with it jamming. What happens, the round comes, is up here, the bolt carrier comes forward and for some reason the tip of the round impacts the front of the magazine. And I've had it with ARs, I've had it with the 308 also. Now, if you're using, like on this M193 here, it has a pointed ball on it. There's not as much of an issue with this. When the, magazine, when the bolt carrier comes forward, it strips the round off the top. And because this is better angled, it slides over the lip of the magazine and then up into the feed ramps into the chamber loading the round. Now with the 308 there's so much power on the bolt. What I have with those rounds and this is one of them this is a civilian 308 round. This one is a 762 NATO M80 ball round. Well with these rounds that had the flatter or round nose, it impacts the lip of the magazine up here and it gets caught. And it will actually flatten out the end of this round even more. Now, if you're in that situation where you have mixed ammunition, say you're topping off a mag after an engagement, you're refilling magazines from a cache. So you got mixed ammo, you got some 223, which is going in with your 556, you got some 308, which is going in with your uh, 762. How do you fix that issue? Well, what you can do is the first two rounds or three rounds at the top of your magazine, the ones that will feed into the weapon first, they should be the ones with the pointed ball. And then below that, you should be fine with loading the round nose. Because that, by that point, you've taken a lot of pressure off of the springs inside here. And maybe you'll get just a little bit of play that will allow this round to load properly. Like I said, most of the problems I've had on this is when I've had magazines that are just full of the round nose ball rounds. 
I haven't had the same type of issue with the pointed ball rounds. So, quick fix. The first couple rounds out of the magazine should be, point, should be the pointed ball. Then you can have in there some of the round nose and you should be just fine. That'll clear up your feeding problems from your magazines. Now, I do know there's probably some people saying right now that, well, are, you're probably loading it wrong. You're probably loading the magazine to its full capacity. You shouldn't do that. You should only load it to, if it's a 28 round, mag, uh, for, if it's a 30 round magazine, only load it to 28 rounds. If it's a 20 round magazine, only load it to 18 rounds. Now, do you really understand where that came from? Seriously, do you understand where the origin of that? Now, where that came from is in Vietnam with the initial runs of the M16 and the M16 20 round magazines. There were problems with those magazines where if they were loaded to the full 20, you would have a jam up on the feed lip on the top of the magazine for the first few rounds. So what they figured on doing, subtract two rounds and it, it took care of the feeding problem. Now, when we transitioned over to the M16A2 and we started getting 30 round magazines, and yes, I do know 30 started appearing with the M16A1 at the end. But uh, by the time we got the 30 round magazines, that problem for the most part had been cleared up. So, they went through, worked on the feed lips a little bit, and they took care of that problem. I personally never had any issues loading a full 30 round magazine into my rifle. I never had any feed issues from that magazine as long as the weapon was clean. If the weapon was really fouled, really dirty, either because of sand, dust, carbon, just garbage inside the chamber, Yes, then I would have some feed issues, but nothing that couldn't be cleared quickly with, with sports at the time. I did a video on that. So you can load a 30 round magazine all the way to the full 30 rounds and it will feed no problems. I have had no problems with my 20 round HK mags in my 308 as long as I've had the pointed ball rounds. The only times I've had problems is if I had the rounded ball, but like I said, it's usually just the first few rounds. So there you go, that's a quick fix in case you've come across this issue on the range. Uh, and as I said, if you're in that situation, you're in the field, you're a resistance fighter, you're loading magazines, you want to make sure that your mags load properly every time, and you got mixed rounds like this, you know, the last rounds you load in a magazine, the last two or three, which will be the first two or three stripped from it during chambering, load pointed ball, but the, after that, or before that, I should say, you should be fine with round nose if that's what you primarily have. Now, is there going to be problems if you're loading military surplus ammunition, police surplus ammunition into magazines in the field? Not really. That stuff is pointed ball. This round nosed ball ammunition is primarily meant for target shooting and also hunting to cause a bigger cavity inside the target. And you may not be aware when you buy the ammunition that that particular box you got is round nose and not pointed. It could happen. I've had that with uh, some of my ammo I've gotten from the store, same manufacturer, different times when I picked it up. Well, one batch was pointed ball, one batch was round. And it was the exact same stuff. It's weird. It could have been a screw up in a factory or, you know, just availability of materials because of the crap post COVID, who knows. Now for all my engineer brothers and the Patriot Militia movements, always remember, SA ons.